which brings me back to someone I mentioned earlier, Pausanias. Pausanias was the eldest son of Prince Cleombrotos. When Cleombrotos died in 480 BCE, the young Pausanias became king regent and heroically took up the fight against the Persians. He led the Spartans in not one, not two, but three notable victories against the enemy. The most famous victory is the Battle of Plataea, where he was co-commander alongside his cousin Eurianix. But he also had some pretty impressive victories in Cyprus and Byzantium. Unfortunately, this young commander rubbed people the wrong way with his arrogant attitude and controversial policies. Finally, long story short, like his uncle King Cleomenes, Pausanias died a controversial death around 470 BCE after being walled up in a temple and starved to death by his own subjects. And sadly, around 10 years later, his royal nephew Plastarchos also died. This left the Agiad throne completely vacant. Oh, now who's king? And how are they related to Leonidas and our Assassin's Creed protagonists? Let's take a break for a minute and think about that. And while we're thinking, this podcast is brought to you by... Well, me. I don't have any sponsors yet. Okay, back to history. Since Plistarchos had now died and Prince Eurianix's descendants were seemingly not contenders for the Agiad throne, the kingship now fell to Pausanias' son, Plistonax. Now, King Plistonax's story is pretty involved, so I'm just going to say he ruled Sparta on and off for a number of years. But when he first inherited the throne, he was actually too young to rule. And just like Plistarchos, Plistonax needed a king regent to rule in his stead. And that title fell to his eldest next of kin, which if I consult my handy-dandy flowchart here, would be his uncle, Prince Nicomedes. And he is our second candidate for a real-life ancestor to Alexios and Cassandra. Nicomedes was the son of Prince Cleombrotos and younger brother of King Regent Pausanias. I know, I know, this family tree is getting kind of complicated, but we got this. Like his older cousin Eurianix, Nicomedes is only briefly mentioned in the larger scheme of things. In fact, he's only mentioned once by Thucydides, which was during a military expedition to Doris around 457 BCE. And guess what? Nicomedes did alright for himself. But like his cousin Eurianix, Nicomedes just sort of disappears after his successful military campaign. But the good news is because we don't know what happened to him, we're free to speculate that Nicomedes went on to have children, and these royal children would have had kids of their own. These great-great nieces and nephews of Leonidas would have been the same age as Alexius and Cassandra during the Second Peloponnesian War, which as I stated earlier, means Nicomedes is our second possible candidate as a real-life ancestor to a real-life Alexius and Cassandra. But wait, there's more! 